What's up, guys? Sorry all about music here, bringing you a three view, three view for Tobacco's new album, Maniac Meat. Um, of course, the Needle Drop and Nun Jumble Junkie music will be also be doing reviews of this album, and you can find their videos right there and there. Boom. So go check those out. Give them, give a listen to what they have to say, and uh, we'll all be good. But Tobacco, if you don't know, is the f the solo project of the front man for Black Moss Super Rainbow, BMSR. I am a huge BMSR fan. I fucking love Black Moss Super Rainbow. I think they're fantastic. I love all, you know, all the colors that they create with their music. The the really warm sound of these retro sounding keyboards and the vocoder. I love the vocoder. I fucking love it. Um, and of course, the live drums. The fact that the drums aren't electronic, they're not processed, they're live drums. They have effects on them, but they're live drums. That's the other thing that I really like about BMSR. And all that really carries over into Maniac Meat. It, it's, I, I mean, this could be a Black Moss Super Rainbow album, without a doubt. Without a doubt, it could be a Black Moss Super Rainbow album. Um, but there are a couple of key character, you know, key differences, and the number one thing being the 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 overall the overwhelming attention and emphasis on the beats in these songs. Tobacco's first album, Fucked Up Friends, was really hip hop oriented, very hip hop oriented, um, and that that attention to the how the beat works in the song is on Maniac Meat, no doubt about it. Um, the other thing is how spacey the music gets. You still have that warm keyboard sound, um, the retro sounding keyboard sound, a lot of vocoder stuff coming in on Maniac Meat, but it's a lot spacier, a lot more cerebral, a lot more open and grandiose in a lot of places. One of the songs, Lick the Witch, starts off with these, this just, this, swirling keyboard this it's so spacey and it's so awesome it's just epic in its proportions i f i fucking love it i love it i love it i love it um and uh, you know that is the overall feel of uh maniac meat now i do have a couple of problems with this album and the first being is it's 16 songs and it doesn't need to be it absolutely doesn't need to be I feel like there's a lot of filler on this album. I feel like um, there are songs that just don't need to be here. And in fact, uh, you know, I when I when I first picked it up, I went and listened to it all the way through, listened to it about again, and the the real the real good songs are all on the first half, and the second half just sounds like a rehashing of of uh, the first half. You know, it, it it there's not there's not really any kind of any really exciting ideas that are different enough to keep my attention on the second half of the album. Um, but the first half, if this was just like an eight, maybe ten, ten track album, it would be uh, unstoppable in my opinion. I think it would be, it would be, it would be fantastic. But it's not. Um, and excuse me, I think the last eight seven, eight tracks really just don't need to be there. They just sound like a rehashing of the first half. Um, and that's really my big complaint with Maniac Meat. I really don't have any other complaints with it. Um, well, some of these songs also take a, take a while to get started. Sweat Mother being one of them. When I first when I first picked up uh, when I first heard Sweat Mother, I thought it was great. I thought it was fantastic, and I still do. Um, I just don't care for how long it takes to get started. And there are a couple other tracks on there on on this album that do that also. So. What else to say? Um, I think the production is fantastic. Uh, it it still has that really warm sound that you get on BMSR, um, some BMSR's earlier albums, um, namely Dandelion Gum, uh, Started People, stuff like that. Um, but it it doesn't it doesn't uh, the, the the production is still good enough to keep that separation between all these sounds. You know these sounds aren't muddying together and you know you don't know what's going on it's all wishy-washy everything is separate but it works together and i love that that is good production that is good solid production and uh maniac meat definitely has that so yeah i think it's a great album um i would definitely recommend going and picking it up and uh i can give it probably a seven out of ten a seven out of ten and 
you know, really the, the, the big mark off for me, of course, is the fact that it's just way too long and the last half just sounds like a rehashing of the first half. You know, not interesting enough to keep my attention personally. But yeah, definitely great album. Uh, 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 far superior, in my opinion, to Fucked Up Friends. Um, so I would definitely recommend go picking it up. Go pick it up, guys. Go pick it up. It's fucking great. So, so all about music. Three View, Tobacco's Maniac Meat. Be sure to check out Jumble Junkie and the Needle Drops album reviews. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.